Hi guys, today we're still reviewing statistics and we're looking at back-to-back -back stem and leaf plots. So two sets of data can be compared using a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot and the data in the plot has been ordered. So our data for our A stem, which is this stem here, um, goes from smallest to largest this way and our stem on the right hand side goes from smallest to largest this way. What we're going to do is we're going to use this stem and leaf plot to compare the two sets of data. So I'm going to call this set A and set B and I'm going to find these things in different colours. So we want to find the range. So our range is our highest score minus our lowest score. So our highest score here is for um, set of data A is 55 minus our lowest score is 8. So 55 minus 8 equals 47. For our B set of data, our highest score is equal to 60 minus our lowest score is 16. So 60 minus 16 is 44. We then want to calculate our mode. So our mode is our most common score. So in set A, our most common score here is 12 as it occurs three times. Our most common score in our set B of data is going to be 32 and 59 because both of these scores occur three times so they're both the mode so 32 and 59 now what we want to do is we want to find the median so there's a couple of different ways to finding the median and we can either cross out the first score to the last score or we can count how many scores we have and find the middle that way so for set A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So there's 26 scores here, total of 26 scores. And for set B, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 also. So both of these um, have 26, so that means we want, it's going to be um, a median that's in the middle because we have an even number of scores. So we want 13 scores on both sides. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our median should be there. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, so that means that our mean a median sorry for set a is going to be 27 and then to find our median for set b we want to find out where the 13th score is and after that it will be our median so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it's going to be after 39 but before 41 so that will be 39 plus 41, so the average of the two scores, divided by 2, which is equal to 40. So 40 will be our median there. So then for set A, we want to find our Q1. So our Q1 is our middle score. So we have 13 scores here. So it will be our seventh score will be our Q1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that last two. So we want to have six scores either side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So that means that our Q1 for our set A is equal to 12. And while we're on set A, I'm going to find out what our Q3 is. So again, we want um, six scores. So it's our seventh score. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll be this six here. And we should have seven on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, six scores on the other side. So six on each side of our data. So that means our Q3 will be 36. And while we're here, we can work out our interquartile range, which is Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 is 36 minus Q12. 36 minus 12 is equal to 24. So now what we want to do is um, find our Q1 of our score, our B scores. So we'll have our seventh score again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it will be 28 is equal to 28. And then our Q3 is our seventh score on the other side of our median. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seventh. So it will be that second eight, which is equal to 48. Then to find our interquartile range, it is Q3 minus Q1, which equals 48 minus 28, which equals 20. Now what we're going to do for our back to back stem and leaf plot is we're going to use the data from the 2021 netball grand finalists, the Swifts and the Giants scores for each game played in the 2021 season as stated below and we're going to organise this data into a back to back stem and leaf plot. So this is exactly the same as drawing a normal stem and leaf plot, just the Swift data is going to ascend in a different way. Um, or you could sort of call it descending. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our first um, stem, so our stem of four, and we're going to highlight the Swift scores that have a four in them. we will start with a four in green, which is 44. So the first score for the Swifts will be 44. Um, and then we're going to look at the score that is has a stem of five. So stem of five will be 55, 55, 54, 53, 55, 58. And we're going to write those scores in ascending order starting at the um, stem. So the lowest score there is 53, then 54, then we have three 55s, and then we have a 58. Then we're going to look at our scores that have a 6. In them so we have 69 62 63 66 62 68 69 62 63 and so we're going to write them in ascending order as well so our lowest score is 62 and we have two of those one two then we oh sorry three of those then we're going to look at 63 i'm just going to cross those out because this one's a little bit trickier because there's more scores so 63 we have two of those so one two then 66, we have one of those. Then we have 168 and 269s. One, two, like so. And that's our data for the Swifts done. Now we're going to look at our data for the Giants. So again, we're going to start off with our um, stem of four. So we have 45. Um, that's the only one that has a stem of four. So we'll put our five there. Um, then we have our stem of 5, so we have 51, 52, 57, 52, 58, 59, 54, and 59. So our lowest score there, our lowest leaf is 1, then we have 2, another 2, then we have a 4, then we have a 7, then we have an 8, and two nines. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So then we have our um, six, our stem of six. So 66, 66, 67, 68, 63, 61, 64. So our lowest there is 61. Then we have three, four, um, two sixes, a seven and an eight. And lastly, we have a stem of seven there with a leaf of five. And that's how you do a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot.